Da Nang City is located approximately 69 kilometers. My Sun Sanctuary is a combination of many Chiamba temples, located in the valley about 2 kilometers in diameter, surrounded by hills and mountains. Hiding behind the taciturn tower in afternoon sunlight is a mysterious building blocks. There are many assumptions about the adhesive between the bricks on the champ towers but there is still no answer. Da Nang City is located approximately 69 kilometers. My Sun Sanctuary is a combination of many Chiampa temples, located in the valley about 2 kilometers and is in diameter, surrounded by hills and mountains. This has been a place of worship held Champa dynasty, as well as the tomb of the king, or the royal Champa. My Sun Sanctuary is regarded as one of the main central Temple of Hinduism in Southeast Asia and is the only legacy of this kind in Vietnam. Was recognized as a UNESCO Cultural Heritage 1999. Through small road with tall trees, straight romantic, you will step into a different world when standing in front of the remaining relics of the Champa culture, such as forgetting your life's realities and down that dream of a strong period of Champa country. The small tower cluster, with a tower in the middle. Many women surrounded the tower as a celebration of the power and organization reunions. What remains is full of nostalgia here. If you come to this valley in the sunset, you will see the beauty of the ruins of my son. The ancient pagoda suddenly become shimmering in the afternoon. Sun fanciful and aspired dancers continue dancing in their thousands. The wind whispering through mountain has suddenly become more flickering. Drum beats to add champa dance captivates the people. My Sun Sanctuary is compared to the Tower of the Ancient Champa, where space is ideal for a heart deeply. Imbued with religious chan brings a beauty of a lost civilization. When the city of My Sun tour, visitors will admire the architecture influenced major temples of Indian style. Sanctuary has a main tower, Kalin, and several smaller towers surrounded. The towers are pyramids and was built with red bricks, no lime coating. Between the bricks without mortar, the towers are square shaped. The tower was built by many layers stacked tower, as high as smaller. The outside of the tower are the contours and curves describing the people, the animals and plants in many different looks lively and flexible. The main power often worship Alinga, representing Shiva, the destroyer and the creation of the universe, but also the idolatry of man. The small temples worshipping the gods as gods thunder, lightning, Indra, Surya the sun god, god of war, Skanda. These reliefs, sculptures expresses beliefs and aspirations of the champ. That's not to mention the hundreds of carved stone stella is full of ancient characters of archaeological material and valuable, not more than majestic Angkor temples. Cambodia also was not affected much by traveling waves as the ancient town of Hoi An, my son sanctuary, but still attracted a lot of visitors because of its looks caster. Thousands of years have passed, but still does not fade the red color of the bricks. 
Thousands of years have passed, but still does not fade the red color of the bricks. There is a mysterious building techniques. There are many assumptions about the adhesive between the bricks on the Cham Towers but there is still no answer. It was said that the ancient Cham artists have packed clay, forming the tower and then calcined with fire. Even the people in this area said that at the foot of the tower is the route, sucking air brick to below ground to be the tower itself. If you cut the route, the tower will be dead as a tree species. The Cham Towers forever have hard to resist the attractiveness to those who have been once to my son. Virtual and real, the splendor and the ruined, all made a passionate love of the my son sanctuary of visitors to touch into this valley.